hi all uh, in this assignment we are going to see uh, dns level failover so uh, this failover is will be across aws regions so as of now in last assignment you did the failover uh, not failover but the load balancing right uh, one elastic load balancer having multiple web server behind it and then it does the load balancing across the uh, web servers but here it would be across we would have this uh, top level dns uh, and the domain name associated with it and then we would have two web servers across two different AWS regions as you can see we would have first web server in North California that is US West 1 region have another web server the failover web server in another AWS region uh, and when this uh, suppose the web server in US West 1 region goes down we would actually fail over to the next region that is US West 2 region. So this is how it is going to happen. So here we are trying to achieve this region level high availability. As you saw in the last uh, lecture, we had uh, discussed about the elastic load balancer, but that all works within the VPC, right? That means within the same AWS region, but here it is across AWS region. So that's the difference between doing the high availability across AWS regions versus doing it inside AWS region. Okay, so with that, uh, we'll go into this assignment and uh, these are the high level. So in this assignment, uh, we are going to create uh, two public web servers in two regions. Then we'll create a route 53 hosted zone. We'll talk about it and uh, we will configure the one region as a primary web server and uh, in another region we will configure it as a secondary region. Then uh, we will make the first uh, web server to fail uh, maybe by stopping this uh, web server or we could even terminate the EC2 instance and uh, then we will see if the DNS resolves to the second web server over the DNS right. So this is what we are going to do. Okay, as a, uh, you can see, I am in uh, US West 1 region, North, North California. Uh, and uh, here we have, uh, there is no EC2 instance. So I will just launch one web server. So I'll go here, I'll select Amazon Linux. So you are very well aware of all these configurations. I'll use the default uh, VPC and uh, any subnets. These are public subnets, so I know that uh, we, uh, my EC2 instance will receive a public IP. Just one thing to note down is we want the web servers to be configured automatically when it comes up. So I'm just trying to install the HTTPD service, starting that on and just putting a small index.html file which says uh, this is a US1 AWS region. So you can see that here. I'll just go with the default storage. I'll just add a tag a web server and this is us west one region configure security group so i'll create a new security group right because i want this web server to be available so i'll just add ssh uh, to my ip i don't really require to ssh because i have put in user data but in case something fails i would have to and this uh, web server should be available over the internet so i'll just i'm just adding the ipv4 addresses i don't need ipv6 and review and launch so i have my key there launch instance Similarly, I'm going to do this step for uh, US West 2 region that is Oregon. So there is no instance. I'm just repeating the same steps. Right. So I will quickly do that. So I'm using the default VPC. I can use any subnet. I'm in advance. I don't have to. Here just make sure that you put the right message here so that you can identify whether you are hitting this web server from US West 1 region or US West 2 region. Right add storage add tags name and say web server us west 2 configure security group again i'll create my security group in this region as well and 
I want SSH from my IP and HTTP to be accessible from IPv4 addresses. Review and launch. Launch. Here also I have my keys. Okay. The security group already exists. Okay. So there is some error with the security group. So I'm just going back. Save it server 2. Because it says the security group already there. Okay, so these two instances are launching. I'm in the US West one back. I'll just see if I can hit these instances directly from here so that when, so yeah, I can hit this instance and uh, web server and you can see the US West one region. Let's also wait for some time for the region US West two is still pending. So by that time it's happening. Uh, okay, let's quickly check that. Okay, it's not yet up. Just try again. Okay, you can see US West 2 region. That means both the web servers are up, but they we are accessing through the IP. The real use case is to do the DNS failover for those. So let's go to the route 53 service. So I am in the route 53 service. If you log in, you will see something like this. And here I already have one hosted zone. That is for AWS training center.com. So you probably do not have it and that's where you won't be able to uh, test it properly because you would have to buy these domain name from domain registrar like site go daddy and all. Then you would be able to configure it. But I have already one of my domain public domain name. So here what uh, we will do is uh, show this complete this exercise using the subdomains. So the first thing that we need to do is to create a health checks for the web server that we have just configured. So I'll say create a health check. So this is a health check for say web server in US West 1 region endpoint and then I have to put the IP address of this web server in US West 1 region. So I'll just put that IP address and I want to hit index dot HD. So this health check is actually if you see similar to what we did in a load balancer but this health check at DNS level so Amazon route 53 will uh, perform the health checks for the primary instance and if it is if it gets a success response then it treats this instance as an healthy and will return the IP address of this instance when somebody queries this domain name that is the domain name that we are going to configure in the next step right so next we do want to keep everything default and create a health check similarly we want to create a new health check that is for us west 2 region that is for secondary so we'll say us west 2 and then here i'll just give the public ip of us west 2 instance so I go here again it's index.html i'll keep everything default and create a health check okay so you see that uh, it has some error let's wait for some time it takes some time for it to probe this instance whether they are healthy or not but eventually this both will turn out healthy okay. so by that time uh, we'll just configure our hosted zone which is actually your uh, configure your uh, domain name and subdomain so we he, we are here so we i already have a top level domain that is aws training center.com but for this exercise i am going to create a subdomain so create a record set say test.aws training center.com the type will be a type uh, and the TTL I want to keep short so that when the first instance terminates or say stops uh, the first web server stops processing the request we can uh, switch over to the other DNS immediately so 60 seconds is sufficient and value of this would be I want this test on AWS center, uh, training center dot com to point to by default my this instance which is a primary instance right. So I'll just put its IP address here and the routing policy I want to select is failover as discussed. And this instance is my primary instance. So I'll keep the failover type as primary. 
and I want to associate health check so that it knows whether my instances or the web server is healthy or not and health check to associate one is us west one so I'm just creating this similarly I want to create another entry for the same domain but this is a secondary a lower domain name right so again I want to give here the IP address of the secondary instance which is in Oregon region so I go back here I paste this IP failover now this time the failover record type is secondary and I want to associate a health check make sure you have the TTL same as the primary one and health check associate is US West 2 that's it so I am just creating this so we have now these two record sets test.aws training both are the, the uh, domain name is same but the IP addresses are primary if you see here the it's a primary and this one is the secondary just go back to the health check and check if both the instances are healthy okay both the instances are healthy so if everything is good we should be able to hit test.awstrainingcenter.com and we should be return the IP address of the primary web server and we should be able to hit the primary web server so I'm just doing aws.awstrainingcenter.com okay so we could hit AWS training center in US West 1 region you can also check whether it returns the proper DNS by just uh, doing the NS lookup and this uh, domain name it should return the IP address of the primary web server so I'm just stopping this video here I want to log into the one of the instance and stop it okay so what I want to do is now just log into instance in first region the primary web server and stop the HTTPD service so this is an IP of primary instance I'm just going to provide my SSH keys for the login so it is demo west one uh, login would be ec2 dash user I'll just open this connection yes I'm there I'm just doing the sudo su so that I'm a root and I'm just going to var www html there I would see an index.html which has a message this is a us one region so this is as expected now I'm just going to stop this service here service HTTPD stop so that web server is stopped here now I expect this uh, DNS health check to fail for US West 1 region and then DNS should be fail over to the other DNS so we'll wait for some time I'll pause this video for a couple of uh, uh, seconds and then see okay as you can see the health check for US West is unhealthy and uh, then we should be switched back to our uh, other EC2 instance in another region so that means if we now hit AWS test.aws training center we should be redirected to US West 2 and that's where it's happening you can verify this uh, using uh, NS lookup command which actually gives you the D DNS name for this domain name so I'm just already logged into this machine I will just do NS lookup I just want to give domain name oh sorry I need to reconnect okay, so ns lookup test.aws training center.com you can see I got an IP public IP address this and this address actually resolves to US West 2 region dot 37 right so that's it that means we did the DNS failover to other web server running in another AWS region just one thing to make sure is uh, about the security group in case of when you did the exercise for elastic load balancer to the EC2 route uh, traffic you had put this uh, HTTP to be opened only for the DA of say VPC cider or the subnet ciders of elastic load balancer but here 
the route 53 is a global dns service and it has to perform the health check on your web server right so that's where we have put the source ip as for everyone so that route 53 can query your uh, web server on port 80 so that's the only difference uh, typically people make mistakes so i wanted to mention that so that's it uh, for this assignment uh, please let me know if you face any issues thank you